Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new experimental plugin that was just added in 5.7 main branch. Now, a couple of weeks back, I made a video about the Nanite foliage in a new Legend 5.7, and I talked about how I think we need Nanite assemblies to get the full experience, kind of like something they showcased in the Witcher 4 demo in Unreal Fest 2025. Here's the thing. There's absolutely no documentation on this, and I'm making this video so you can start playing around with it yourself. And maybe we can come up with something to find out how this really works because it's all a mystery. It's like really fun to like just mess around with this thing. But so that said, you'll need the experimental branch from GitHub to do this. And to get it started, you go to plugins and you type in procedural, type in procedural vegetation editor. All right, it's an experimental. Big thanks to WitchDev for pointing this out. And additionally, I saw a CVAR now if you type in nanite assemblies also that you have to enable in the .ini, it's read-only. So I went ahead and enabled that. But what that's going to do whenever you enable that plugin, right-click and go to Foliage, you're now going to see this thing called Mega Plant, right? Now, obviously, I don't have any Mega Plants, so you can create one. And upon looking at this for the first time, this is giving me PCG vibes to it. Right, so it's using Mega Seed. There's like so many stuff right now. Mega Plant, Mega Seed. So now it's it's gonna be using nodes, which is scary. So I'm gonna start messing around with this just to see if I can do something. And I'm also gonna send this to some uh, some fab sellers so they can play around with it. Because I know a lot of people are experimenting with nanite assemblies and nanite foliage in 5.7. I'm talking to like the best foliage, you know, trees, environment artists from on Fab right now. Go ahead and start messing around with this. Obviously, again, I'm waiting for official documentations, but that's not going to stop us from messing around with it in here. There's a lot of stuff and the settings and the namings really seem like it's going to be like PCG stuff. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to put this out there so you guys can start messing around with it. Because believe it or not, a lot of people are now messing around with Experimental Branch in a new Engine 5, which is super good. Uh, till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.